Welcome to chapter number four, episode number four of Chandelar right here on Timmy Talks. And uh, it's a bit of a rainy day here, so perfect to play Chandelar. So for the next uh, half hour, 45 minutes, hour, I'm going to take you into my world of Chandelar. And uh, let's take a look. So this is uh, chapter four. If you've missed the other chapters, there's probably a link popping up right now that links to the playlist with all the other episodes. So if that's your jam, you can uh, check it out from the start. Let's take a look. Where are we at? A sorcerer is attacking something. Is it close? It's also far away. We do have the blue castle pretty close. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to go... See, can I buy something? Can we buy a swamp? Ooh, I got no money. I'm broke. Take a look at my decks. I've got 21 lands. That's not that much. You know what? I'm going to toss the darkness out of the deck. I'm going to sell darkness. Why not? I need some money. And then from that money, I'm going to buy a swamp. There we go. Let's try to find the swamp again. Oh, I got two swamps even. Okay. So I'm going to add those. What to take out though? Hmm. Four spike it can take out. Playing with 60. Actually, you gotta take out a swamp, gotta put in an island. So now I've got 10, 10, 20, 23 lands. That's, that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna drop the Tonnesis once because I don't really play with that anymore. Maybe add a tome. The disc is quite nice as well to add the disc. Let's do that too. Um, I like Siphon Soul. I like the Siphon Soul. You know what? I'm just going to play 61. Whatever. There's nothing that I want to take out. Even though it's full of like jankiness, I guess. Okay, so we want to try to go to the forge. Yeah, the forge is under attack. So we're going to go to the forge. Oh, look at this. Travel east to Hornwold Tower. Okay, wait a minute. We're going to go to Hornwold Tower first. Which is also east. The forge is east. Okay. Let's go for it. Oh, knight. Okay, we'll duel the undead knight. I could change the anti card, but I think I promised somewhere, when was that, two videos ago, I would never change the anti. I would just accept the anti, so. Gonna go for it. But I really don't want to lose this control magic, so. Please. Oh, yeah, it's hot coffee. Mm. Do not want to lose the control magic. My hand is not the worst, but not great. No fast plays to make. So just an island. Next turn I can play second island and I have a counter spell online. I can play Tim turn three. This is like playing with my own deck, you know, Timmy Spellbook. So I'm gonna play a swamp. Uh, sorry, an island, of course. So I've got counter magic up, so I'm gonna pass turn. And then the question is, am I gonna play something next turn or am I gonna keep counter magic up? Or am I going to counter straight away? That's kind of easy. Counter it away. Play a swamp. Now I'm going to play the tin. Which I think is quite good against this opponent. I think that uh, he's playing with a lot of like one toughness creatures. Oh, this is really good. The spirit shackles. Because when I tap the tin, it gets minus O minus 2. And... Yeah, I mean, you want to tap a Tim. Oh, look at that. Also doing a terror. He really hates Timmy. I don't know what I've ever done to you, but <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. That was a bit uh, excessive. Okay, so I'm going to do City of Brass. Um, curse Land or the Drudge? I'm going to go for the Drudge because then I still have counter magic open which I no longer have so it doesn't matter but next turn I can maybe play unstable on it have a 4-4 regenerating army 
That would be quite nice. Bark wreath. That's really good because I get swamps. That's a problem. I could play spirit shackles on it. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Unstable first and attack. And then I'm going to play spirit shackles. I mean, you're not the only one with spirit shackles. Look at it, it's working. Minus O, minus two, and it's a counter. It's Old school is so funny, like it, a minus O, minus two counter. It's hilarious. Uh, okay, so my drudge is gonna be a three, three. Ooh, I can kill him. Another unstable. Mm, that is too bad. That is a good move. The, what's it called again? Marsh gas. Only one black. I mean, another card nobody ever plays, but it's it's. I mean, I understand why nobody plays it, but still, it's it's not that bad. It's a good defensive card, I guess. But then you you'd play darkness probably instead. And look at that! So he attacked, and he's gonna lose his uh, reef. Another reef, though. I mean, I think I got this one because of the uh, Cursed Land. I mean, he's on one. Let's play the ship. There we go. Unholy Strength, Dark Ritual, and a Whimsy. Whimsy's cool. That's from the Astral Set. Pay X random fast effects. That is cool. Ooh, a Merfolk Assassin. Sweet. Edit and sell cards. I think my problem is that I'm, I'm just getting so many fun cards. I don't want to sell anything. You know what? I'm just going to sell the force. Only 10. I'm not going to sell the force mic. Hmm. Evil presence. But if I find a zombie master, it's so cool with evil presence. I could sell the merfolk assassin, but... I don't want to, but I'm gonna. Okay, Merfolk Assassin gone. Sea Serpent I can sell. I mean, I gotta sell some stuff. Thought Lace I can sell. I really wanna play the Whimsy, that's just a lot of fun. Um, I wanna play Unholy Strength. Dark Ritual is good. How many Dark Rituals do I have? Already two, so I think two is enough, actually. Got to cut some cards, though. The Leviathan is going to go. Hmm, this is tough. Maybe the Scavenging Ghoul, Merc Dwellers. I think Sinkhole is going to go. I mean, Sinkhole is great, but... And Siphon Soul, because I've got Drain Life. Oh, yeah, we're back to 60. That was not as difficult. So I have to go west, right, to this place. Let's continue. Ooh. Elvish magic. Sure, I'll do you. first start the duel um got a lot of dark rituals counter spell so next turn blue if counter magic open i'm expecting lana where else yeah there's lana where else Ooh, contract from below that is really good remove contract from below from the game okay discard your hand draw eight cards nice I'm so going to cast Contract from below first. Ooh, ramping up. Did I forget to play a land last turn? Did I just click continue? That is stupid. I mean, he's ramping up. I'm ramping down. 
five mana already. Maybe Thicket Basilisk. Crawl Worm. Okay, Elven Rider is definitely going to counter that. All right, Jose. Um, Swamp. Timmy, because I can kill the Elf next turn. Two Control Magics in hand. That's really powerful. And I can cast them because of the Dark Rituals. Ooh, he needs time to think. Okay, there's a spider. I'm going to steal the spider for sure. Save Brass. Steal the spider. And I'm going to kill the elf main because then he doesn't have the mana in his own turn. I guess I could do it in upkeep and then still he, he's going to untap Lana or maybe play an instant with it. Just better to get rid of it, you know. One of the things that can happen when you choose to want to do it in his main is that he, he's got the mana also, but what if he finds a Pendlehaven, plays Pendlehaven, you cannot respond to, to, uh, to lands coming into the, onto the battlefield. It doesn't um, go on the stack. Ooh, another spider. Ooh, what am I going to do? Steal as well, I think. I'm just going to steal all the spiders. There we go. We've got different art on the spiders. Look at that. Two different ones. I guess this is from the newer sets. I only know like the old stuff. I think this giant spider is M10, I think. Oh, I forgot to ping. Stupid. Of all people, I forgot to ping. I'm gonna attack with my spider army. I think it's almost time for contract from below. I'm, maybe I can play Dark Ritual. That's probably the right thing to do. Let's see, do the Tim. So I can play Island, Ritual. I could go again with the Ritual. You know what? I live dangerously. I mean, it's risky, but... Done. Okay. Um, it's, a, it's such a sick card. It is such a sick card. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play Whimsy. Seven random effects. Look, this is Whimsy, so it's from the Astral set, so you pay X random effects, or play X random effects. Let's see what it's gonna be. Fog effect. Time elemental effect. Time elemental effect. Oh no, am I losing my spider to my opponent? Okay, this was a horrible whimsy. This was really bad. Look what happened. I lost my own spider. Oh, that's really bad. What a bad card. It's just a really bad card. It's fun though. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it in the deck. I do like that. I like the fact that, hey, now we've got a computer game and we can make cards that do random effects be really, really random. Um, let me think. I'm going to cast my Mamoji Jin. I think I'm just going to attack with my huge spider doing unstable on it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make a blue mana. I'm gonna attack. If he doesn't block, he's dead. Because I got the Tim. And of course the Cursed Land, so. I mean, next turn I can attack with the Modi and the Spider. Ah, oh, Stream of Life. Oh. 
Let's go island. You know what? We're first is gonna attack. First things first. Then we're gonna play the jam de tome. Can I use it? Really? I have enough mana? That's funny. Pass the turn. It's kind of hard to see like how much mana I have. I think I can move this or not. Well, maybe not. I remember you used to be able to move your hand, but maybe it's a glitch. Mm. Take him to two. Use my tome. We're just gonna attack. I'm gonna let the team join in as well on the fun. Here we go! Am I gonna win it? I am perfect. Okay, let's see. Lana or Else Tranquility Winds of Change. You know what? I'm gonna take the cards because I need to sell some stuff. I'm gonna take the cards. I'm gonna continue walking up west. I'm gonna sell those cards. Sell, sell. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna duel the fungus master, whatever. Play first. Swamp. I feel like I'm now going to go for the dungeon clues, by the way. I feel like I need to get some more clues. Let's see, there's an island. I'm going to cast Sephir Falcon. Okay, let's have a look. Unsummon. Of course. Annoying card, but I'm okay with that because an unsummon on like a unsaved mutation creature would be worse. Could use another island, you know, two counter spells in hand would be sweet. Wall of Brambles again? I mean, so far the walls, they don't really hurt me. Gonna pass. I guess what I what I could make is this really annoying ping deck with, with Tims and Cursed Lands and stuff. Oh, this is interesting, Cormus Bell. That is interesting. Forgot to ping, by the way. That is stupid. Okay, I'm gonna attack with my 4-4 Sephir. He's got no flyers, so it should be fine. Fungus Master, the Fungusaur, yeah, that's really sweet with the Tim. That is really nice. I'm tempted to ping the Fungusaur for one, just because the, uh, the, the combination is so cool. Mm. I'm gonna do Curse Land. Let's attack. Then I can drop him to, actually I can kill him next turn with the unstable. If he doesn't find a way to block my flyer, which I don't think he can. Unstable on the Sephir. Attack! Boom! Winning it! Oh, I really want the fast bond. Sorry guys, I gotta go for the cards. I said I would go for the clue, but I mean fast bond. And a dual land. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go for the clue. I said I would go for the clue. Tower of Whim. 
Okay. Tower of Wind. Ivory Cup, Turkey Boars. Sorcerer attacking. Am I getting closer? No, not at all. So far behind. I'm pretty close to Green Castle. Is this the Green Castle then? No. You know what? I'm going to pay you money because I want to know what this is. Oh, this is the Tower of Whim. Okay. Let's have a look. I'm gaining life. And a ghost ship. That's good. I mean, a ghost ship to start with, that's really strong. Okay, so I'm gonna go for this elf here. The enchantress, I mean. Ooh, my first dungeon. This is exciting. Mmm. I want to start the duel. I don't want to take a mulligan. I'm fine. Um, island. Unstable. This has got to be so good. Attack. The thing is, she has a Marsh Viper, though, which is, uh, it puts poison counters on you two at a time. So, you see here the little beetles in the corner. Those are the poison counters. So, I got to be a little bit cautious, but I'm not worried. Island, let's attack again. I mean, she's dead next turn, right? Let's just attack. I think she's dead. Hey, yeah, that's of course the downside of a dungeon that you don't get any cards. Hey, treasure. Mox Emerald! Sweet! Bum, bum, bum. Oh, man. I wish there were treasures with Mox and laying around in real life. That would be super, super cool. I mean, it cost me an arm and a leg to get, to get my Mox in. That was like crazy. Um, where to go? I kind of feel there's something here. So I'm going to go here. Okay, I get to start, I guess. Play first, here we go. Let's see, what's my opening hand? City of Brasses, Swamps, I get no turn one play. I'm gonna go for the Brass here because then if I draw into a counter spell with the second Brass, I can cast it. This is pretty problematic. I didn't realize that everybody starts with a Viper turn one. That was a bit of a problem. Um, ooh, am I gonna get kicked out? Am I gonna die to poison? I need like a wall of air or something. I guess my deck's pretty slow. Like I've got a, lo a lot of high casting cost cards in there. Oh no. Already have four poison counters. I think that's six poison counters. If I reach ten, I'm dead. Um, I think I got to play this card. Let's cast the whimsy. Why does it say cancel? Oh no, oh no, stupid. What I did is it taps automatically and I, I can only make blue with the, oh, this is, yeah, this is so stupid. I can only make blue with the City of Brass, but I thought whatever, just click, click, click. Oh, now I couldn't cast the Whimsy and I took Mana Burn, now I'm dead. Now I'm dead. This is, this is by far the stupidest way to get kicked out of a dungeon ever. So please remember this, yeah, with the City of Brass. And I'm losing a ghost ship. What? Oh, man. Yeah, 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 you conquered something. Who dares to challenge the mighty green wizard? 
Well, no, 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 I'm not gonna. Oh, so you've got the, um, you've got these secret dungeons, the towers and stuff, and you've got, of course, the wizards. Yeah, that's true. Hmm, I'm slowly getting back into this game, starting to understand the ins and outs again. Hmm. Let's put my merfolk in there for now. Begin a quest. Take this message each to my brother, keeper of a mana link. I could use a mana link. I have a spire. It's on my way. It's on my way. Hey, I can win a thicket. At least I found the mox, you know, the green mox there. That's good bounty, finding some power nine in an old cellar. Um, okay. Drudge, I could go swamp turn one drudge. You know what, I'm gonna do it. Like this is, like now I take a mana burn, while in reality what, what I could have done you know, but the game didn't understand it. I can regenerate my drudge. I guess this is old rules, though. It's not regeneration shield, so I guess it makes sense. It can only regenerate when it's when it has lethal damage. There's the tower. Like these small changes in rule sets, right? We go up to thirteen. Okay. Good ten. Bum 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 bum. So I can kill the Lano next turn with the Tim, as in now. Uh, play a swamp that allows me to play Cursed Land. Let's first just kill the Lano. Then I play the Cursed Land. I mean, the problem is he's getting a lot of life with the tower, so... If he's gonna, like, stay in this tower the whole game, it's gonna be tough. He's gonna attack here, put him on 15. He's gonna take another damage from the curse, go to 14, go 3 back up, though, so... Yeah. Basically, nothing's changed. <laughs> Ivory Tower! Oh, there's an Enchantress. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. Okay, I'm gonna ping at least. Shall I steal? I don't think I'm gonna steal. No, I don't think I'm gonna steal. Let's attack. Maybe, maybe he blocks. Who knows? Nope. Wild Grove, okay, yeah. I've just made up my mind. I'm gonna... I'm gonna definitely steal the Enchantress because this is gonna get out of hand really quickly. Let it go, I'm gonna take the damage. That's stupid, I should have stolen it. Now we got three cards off of that Enchantress. It's so funny that you kind of, you know you got to steal it, but you just don't want to steal an O2. It kind of feels bad, but I should steal it. I know better than that. I'm not going to play my Merfolk because I want to keep counter magic open, I think. Although, do I have two blue? I got a blue and a swamp. I don't. Okay, then I can just play it out. Go Merfolk! I mean, that tower is annoying, but now he's only got a few cards in hand. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, you don't. Counter? Oh, I cannot counter. Oh, God. This is really bad. Oh, man. 
Oh, I could have attacked because she's tapped still. I just missed two points of damage. Okay, I gotta focus again. Focus. I don't wanna lose again. I'm pretty much getting my ass kicked in this game, by the way, and I'm not even playing the, the hardest level. Um, is this a problem? You know what? I don't think it's a problem. This is stupid. Again, forgetting to ping. Uh, another Tim. Okay. Maybe I can just win on sheer Tim power. That would be sweet. And again, look at how the computer taps right now. I can no longer use my counter magic. So I really, that's the thing with this game. You got to remember everything. Oh, no, no, no. If I would have tapped it myself, I would have had, I would have had mana open for a counter spell and I could have countered this lure. But uh, yeah. Oh god, this is bad. Oh god. At least I can regenerate my uh, my drudge. I, I'm gonna lose this, you know, I'm gonna lose it. Like I can play Sephir, but then I have to block the the Dirkwood, so. At least he's not attacking with the Enchantress. You know, that's something. And he doesn't have a lot of cards in hand, so. Yeah, make matters even worse. Oh, another Enchantress. That's just, that's just dandy. That's fantastic. I could have countered, by the way. I'm still not countering. I keep forgetting that I've got a counter spell. This card could save me, Contract from below. I'm going to play it out. Okay, Wall of Air is good. No, it's not good. It's not going to help me. Protocol Sorcerer is not going to help me. Water Elemental is actually going to help me. Doesn't mean I'm going to lose the Drudge, I now realize. Whatever. We'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. Mmm, interesting. You know what? I'm going to take the damage. I got lucky there. I'm going to play a Tim. I can attack with the Sephir. Have I missed a lot of attack steps with the Sephir Falcon? I think I have. I'm playing extremely mediocre against this elf. I need to get my focus back on. Living Artifact, liking that style. Oh no. Living Artifact, another card that's actually quite good. Um, you know what, I'm gonna counter this aspect of the wolf. Finally countering something, yay! Finally remembering to counter. The thing is with this game is you gotta know when to do what, right? If you, if you do it wrong and you kind of miss your option, you cannot go back. Um, okay. He didn't attack, that is interesting. I'm gonna go with the Sephir. Put him on seven. Problem is the living artifact is gonna give him life as well. Instal energy, okay. Regeneration. He's drawing so many cards. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Okay, I'm gonna ping him. Ping her. I thought I was playing the elf and playing the enchantress. Mm. Attack with the Sephir. It's just going so slow with the ivory tower and the living artifact. I've dealt so much damage to her, but it's just, look at that, she's back up to seven. Mm. 
I mean, I never concede. I just don't do that. But I, I think I'm going to lose here. I mean, the good news is that she doesn't attack, which is quite nice. Uh, swamp, wall of air. I'm going to play another contract from below. Why not? Dark ritual. Contract from below. Done. Um, hmm, this is interesting. Oh, Nevenerals disc. I'm gonna pop the disc, why not? That is actually good. The disc is gonna get me back into this. That is so sweet. Let's hope the disc gets to untap. Oh, I've cut counter magic as well to protect it, so I need to remember to counter. When, when, if she plays a desert twister, I gotta remember to counter it. Or a crumble, but I'm not sure if she plays with crumble. Okay. Yeah, lose your life. Upkeep, fast effects. Oh, I forgot to ping. That is stupid. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to attack with almost everything. Actually, only with two things. I just want to keep all my mana open. How much mana do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 mana. Is that correct? So 13, I can regenerate. Yeah, I've got enough mana to regenerate. Let's just attack. Wait a minute. If I would have played an unstable on my Sephir, it would have gone to one, and then I could have played the uh, could have pinged him to death. Not really bad. Okay. Oh, I got to ping him still. No, I forgot to ping. Let's just play Mamo to keep counter magic open. Okay, despite all my mistakes, I should win it now. Island. Go ahead, Mamo to Jin. Do it, baby. Bam! Great. I wanna take I wanna take the factory. Woo, green amulet. That is sweet. Go east. Got a planes. A lure. Um, okay, I'm gonna do that. The problem is I'm getting so many cool green cards. I think I'm probably just gonna build a green deck and not sell anything anymore. Hmm. Start the duel. What can I do? Dark Ritual into... You know what? I'm going to do Dark Ritual turn two into Scavenging Google. That's the plan. I've got Counterspell, Dark Ritual, Drudge Skeleton, the Suvan Double Ganger, and Scavenging Google. And a Swamp. So let's play Swamp, Dark Ritual, Scavenging Google. Yeah, let's put this pressure on. Gonna attack for two, just gonna swing in. Boom, turn two, two, two. Now that's really good. That's Grizzly Bear style. The Drudge. Here comes the Drudge. Da -da -da. Here comes the Drudge. It's all right. Coral Helm. Play another Swamp so I can play Control Magic later in the game. Really cool, by the way, the Coral Helm. Such a funny, funky card. Discard a card at random target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. I wish it was a plus two, plus two counter. That would be quite nice. The cool thing though is of the Coral Helm, you can use it like as, at instant speed. So during your combat, it's quite nice. Uh, I'm gonna counter. Or not. I tried to counter, but computer says no. Ooh, I can play Vesuvan. 
I'm gonna play Vesuvan, how cool is that? Select a creature to copy. Copying the scavenging ghoul. How often have you copied a scavenging ghoul with a Vesuvan doppelganger or cloned? <laughs> it's like never. For me, blue-black feels very old school. Like, it used to be the best color combination. So many people play that. Uh, upkeep. I want to change into the Dirkwood, please. Thank you. And now I'm going to steal the Dirkwood. And I want to select the mana because I want to keep two blue open to counter. And now I'm going to attack. I think I've won already. Wow, this game went fast. There we go. Oops, got a little glitch going on. Oh no. Is it still working? No, don't crash, don't crash. Don't crash. Hey, didn't crash, good. Let's see, take the cards or take the dungeon clue? Mm, I'm gonna take the dungeon clue. Soul Chant Monastery. Life losses carry over. Crusade permanently in effect. Okay. And I think this is it for now. The Keeper's pleased to receive his brother's letter. Trade white amulets for black cards. Ooh, maybe we can get a turn. Would be so nice to finally have something like creature removal. What? Too white? It's a common! Oh, okay, maybe I can get paralyzed? Enemy dead? No. Paralyzed? Paralyzed is a common. Or shall I get a weakness? I feel like in this format, maybe weakness is better. I'm gonna get a weakness. Um, I'm gonna buy some cards. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save the game here and the next time I'm going to start by looking at my deck and editing and doing stuff like that because, uh, yeah, I feel like we've had a good run, you know? So I'm just going to save here. And that is chapter four in the books. If you get some tips for me, please leave them down below because I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I think at a certain point I got to free some villages, go in dungeons and defeat some wizards, but... I kind of still want to build on my on my uh, on my deck, you know, just do like kind of the fun stuff. But yeah, you know, next next chapter, chapter five, we'll do that. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we play Shandala. If you want to support my channel, please take a moment to uh, to just comment, like on this video, or or share it on your socials, subscribe. All those things are free and really help the channel move forward. Um, and then there's one other thing you can do that's become a patron. Please check out patreon.com slash Timmy Talks and there you can find out how you can become a patron of the show. It already starts for one dollar and for that um, small amount your name will be mentioned in the end scroll at the end of every single video including this one. Let's go to the end scroll. Thank you to Samba Kazee!